This Rodeo Spotlight brought to you by the new 2022 Silverado, the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. It is so great to say let's rodeo San Antonio and uh, here with us today is the CEO of the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Co Cody Davenport it is an exciting time of year I mean the excitement you can just feel it around here right oh absolutely we're so excited especially after last year I mean seeing the San Antonio wake up like it has and recognize this rodeo season it's good to be back in force is there one thing that you can pick out that you're just most excited about you know I am very excited about the fact of what we learned last year you know we talk a lot about how last year was tough but we learned so much. And one of the main things we learned was that the public, for so long, we've been putting on our equestrian events and a lot of things that people are seeing on Yellowstone right now, you know, the cutting and yep. all these, yep. you know, the trend right now, all these things, we'd had it buried on one side of our grounds for so long. And we learned last year, you know what, the Coliseum is a pretty cool place to run a rodeo inside of. So we're putting dirt back inside of that this year. We're bringing all of our equestrian events so the public can come down for free and get to witness all this stuff all day long. They're getting up close and watch all the activities with the horses. We'll have a, a discovery area there for horses as well. They can get up close to our livestock shows will be full on our open shows will be back as well not just our youth shows but we'll be having all of our open shows okay and then a lot of people are always just excited about the music and you always have just musicians from every musical genre uh, what are some of the highlights well we wanted to come back and force again and remember hey we're here so we will swung pretty hard on our music lineup this year but we've got you know big acts like Toby Keith and Tim McGraw um, you know Ryan Bingham again reference Yellowstone but a lot of the a lot of the Texas type music from that side and even Ludacris is coming to town, so we're trying to cover the spectrum. Okay, what's new this year? Uh, new this year, we've got Mutton Bustin'. I don't know if you remember, but right before we got shut on uh, COVID, we mm -hmm. brought in Mutton Bustin' on the grounds where all day long we could run Mutton Bustin'. Everybody could get out there and they could do this and they could win the right to go inside of the AT&T Center and compete. They now have their own tent, so we start really integrating the public that's here, getting the agricultural experience, realizing they're out of stock show and rodeo, but yet maintaining that fair feel as well. So I think they'll see a lot of neat changes in our grounds this year in our layout and that whole flow. Also, we're uh, we're doing a lot more climate control. We're taking advantage of our climate controlled facilities. We're going to talk about the change in the grounds. Uh, we'll have over there what we call Expo 2. We'll have a watch party over there that is open to the public. You can go inside of there. We'll have a preliminary show, which will talk about the rodeo that's happening that night. A lot of the matchups, the livestock, or rough stocks that's going to be bucking out, and then who's on it, things like that. A lot of rodeo education. Then we'll run the rodeo, and then we'll close it out. But also, during the day, we'll have big screens inside of there that will show our livestock shows, and we'll even have commentary inside of there for people that are not you know from the background of showing or being used to uh, how that industry works uh, education showing them what the judges are looking for what these kids are doing and, and how this whole operation works that's brand new as far as trying to educate the public on what's happening inside of our livestock shows well, that'll be in that climate control expo hall number two we have uh, dancers going tonight again we moved out of our tents and a lot of things put them in the climate controlled buildings we are a February event we're taking advantage of that it can be cold it, it can, can be, be hot so. as we witnessed last year Speaking of the fair feel, of course, there's the carnival. I mean, you got to have funnel cakes and everything else that goes yeah. with it. Yeah, we moved uh, the carnival. It's back up here on our northeast side. We've actually expanded it. It has a larger footprint this year. Um, we'll have some vibrant things in there, like we have its own DJ in there this year. But, yeah, I mean, I grew up playing on a carnival down here, so a lot of fun. Yeah, you got to. I mean, if you, if you don't have a funnel cake when you're at the rodeo, it's just it's just not the same. So Probably too many of them, yeah. How about, <laughs> that's true. How about promotions and specials and everything else. We've got a lot of them going this year. Again, waking up San Antonio, bringing back everybody into the rodeo this year. We've got a lot of them going on. You know, my best suggestion is go to our website because there's so many in the listing so large. Go to our website and see what all we have. What we're doing this year, we're very proud. We're bringing an event called the Noche del Vaquero. And it is a blend of the Hispanic heritage and the sport of rodeo, but a historical storyline going through it. We call it a showdio. So it's going to be a show with all aspects of the history and the Hispanic culture inside of agriculture. It'll, at the and we'll, we'll be uh, bucking out charros, but then we will end it with one of our PRCA contestants bucking out in the same manner. They'll go out there and shake hands, and we'll talk about how the sport evolved to what you're watching these, uh, you know, in this current time. So it's kind of the evolution of the sport of rodeo in this show deal format. That's called our Nocho de Vicero. We also will be bringing in a chariota on Sunday and an Escadamusa competition. And, okay, come down and see it. What are the dates? February 10th through the 27th. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you.